Oh, we're back. Diet food this week. Healthy diet food. Blue cheese bacon burger. Okay, let's go. Right, you want smoked streaky bacon. Just like this one, a nice thick cut if you can get it. This is a lovely oak smoked bacon from the butchers. Delightful. My good friend Andrew the butcher always gets some quality bacon. And then we have some burgers now. These ones, I recommend a, a mix of chuck and brisket. Uh, around about an 80 20 fat portion. You want some good marbling, uh, you can see there. Yeah, an 80 20 will give a good bit of fat release and keep it all juicy. There we go, and then just one more ingredient the blue cheese. Oh, and you'll need a ramekin. What we, ramekin? You need mould. Yeah, you'll need a mould, not a ramekin. Okay, what we're going to do is chop the bacon up into little bits, and then we'll make our burger. It's exciting. I took this uh, recipe, took it, borrowed it, was inspired by a recipe um, or a, an episode of Drivers Diving, Diving, Dives. What that? that Guy Fieri episode. I went and visited this chap and it just looked incredible. So I thought, yep, I'm inspired, let's make it. There we go, we chop our bacon up into little lardons. Like that. There's about two or three rushes here. You, you need about that to, uh, to fill the bottom of the ramekin. As I say, this was thick cut, so I used a little bit uh, less for a burger. Next, we get to our blue cheese. Castelli or other varieties are available. I managed to pick up some Yorkshire blue cheese the other week, and that was incredible. Absolutely lovely. This one's quite a, uh, a soft one. And you need that much. Uh, it measures out to be a wedge. And then your burger patty. Did I patty? Right, then you mould, and we first go in, Mark, get a piece of sheet of paper. That's it. Grease proof paper first. There we go. And then we put our bacon in. And press that down so it just fills the bottom of the mould. Get it packed in well. Yeah. That's it, press that down, perfect. That's our first layer. Now onto the blue cheese and just crumble this one up and put it in the middle. Don't go all the way to the edges. What is gonna happen when we cook this burger is that that's going to melt down and go in between those bits of bacon and then um, caramelize on the bottom. You get that lovely melted cheese, that crunchy melt that you get from oh, toasted sandwiches and cheese on toast. Oh, amazing. Yeah, come on, it's up to you how much you want to use. Use a little, use a lot. I've used about two tablespoons, give or take, maybe a bit more. You've no need to press these down because uh, it'll just make a mess. Crumble that in, good. Looking good, right. Now on with the topper, the burger. If you use your mould to shape your burgers, then they'll fit in perfectly, just like that. And press that down, give it a good press. What we want is it really everything um, coming together on this. What I ultimately do is wrap them in cling film and pop them in the fridge just to set a little bit before bringing them out. About half an hour before I'm gonna cook them. Give it a good press down. If you can get hold of those little plastic discs that you use to separate them in there, also very handy. Nice your butcher, you may have some. There we go, and release it. There is the bacon blue cheese burger. And look, see, see how it's just created a little addition of gorgeous bacon pattiness on the bottom. It's delightful, honestly. Best burger ever. Okay, on with the sauce. 
And with this we need mayonnaise, about four tablespoons of mayonnaise. This is gonna make about four burgers. Uh, you need a teaspoon of sugar, a quarter teaspoon of salt, uh, two teaspoons of pickle juice. Keep your pickle juices. Gold dust this stuff. When you've done with your, your jalapenos or your gherkins, just, just keep the juice. Amazing. Uh, you need a teaspoon of onion powder, two teaspoons of mustard, and two tablespoons of tomato ketchup. And that's your simple burger sauce. All the necessary condiments. Mustard and tomato ketchup. Mayonnaise. Because there's so much flavour in the actual burger itself, you don't need to go crazy with the sauce. Just a simple, traditional burger sauce recipe is fine. Doesn't compete with the flavours. Here goes the onion granules. Our pickle juice. Salt. And last but not least, the sugar. There we go. Give that a stir. I recommend making this in advance. If you make it a couple of hours before you're actually eating the burgers, it'll give that a chance to marry and all the flavours to combine a little better. Good, I'll fight it with a fly here. This thing really wants to fly trying to eat my burger sauce. Disgusting. Good. There we go, there's your burger sauce. Try it, of course. That'll do, lovely. Right, on with cooking. First off, we'll toast our burger buns. Always toast your burger buns. You can either use butter or mayonnaise to toast them. It makes a difference. It, nice soft brioche bun and then a crunch from the uh, from the toasting. Now, if you rotate them like this, make sure you get more of a, an even cook. You're like a, uh, a bread bun DJ. There we go. Nicely sped up here, but if you have a look, it starts to coat them a bit better. Show them that top one more. That one. Okay, done. No, do. There we go. See? That's what it wants to look like. Nice toast on it. I'm ready. Go. Oh, don't burn yourself. Yeah, look at that. Perfect. If you do those first, you then get a bit of oil in your pan. Ready. Right, season. Don't put too much salt on the bacon side. To be honest, smoked bacon's quite salty anyway, so be sparing. Black pepper you can go with plenty of. We'll put a splash more oil and we don't want it to stick in. There we go. Pop that in that once about four to six minutes on a medium high heat. We want ultimately the blue cheese to start to melt and go in between the bacon and create a little bit of that Maillard finish on. Season the top of your burger as well. you've had about four to six minutes Get a massive spatula like this toss it over Look at that. that's the sort of finish you want to go for lovely four minutes on the other side and then we're ready that's a quick this one too so we'll start with our bottom bob i'm going to go for sauce on either side of the bread here so one on the bottom one on the top Burger. Put that on, let it rest once it's cooked for about three or four minutes, just lets the juices settle. If you want to go for tomato on your burger, I've been on the on the fence with this, but if you season your tomato, it makes a world of difference. If you're putting the tomato on your burger, then please season it. Same with BLT, season your tomato, it makes the world of difference. Red onion, a little more delicate than uh, your white onion, works well with the burger. A, uh, a roll running on this. Shredded lettuce, 
iceberg, it's up to you what you want to do with your toppings. Do you know what you like? You could just put more meat on it, I don't care. But this classic of tomatoes, onions, lettuce and gherkins is what we're going for here. Get that on. And the last burger sauce on the top. Voila! Squash it down, not too much, let lettuce fall about, and there we have it. How about that? Go and try it, honestly, it makes the world a difference.